हेलो डी एस स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर द टॉपिक ऑफ द क्लास इज हजार्ड द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग द डेफिनेशन ऑफ हजार्ड एंड हाउ हजार्ड इज अक्रिंग इन ए कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट विल बी एक्सप्लेन यूजिंग अ वे फॉर्म and the static 1 hazard and static 0 hazard is defined in this class let us start the definition of hazards the unwanted switching transients that may appear at the output of a circuit unwanted switching transients that may appear at the output of a circuit are called hazards the hazard cause the circuit to malfunction it may not be giving the appropriate result the circuit may not be giving the appropriate result due to hazard why hazard is occurring because due to the unwanted switching transient the main cause of hazards is different propagation delays at different paths the main cause of hazard is propagation delays at different paths hazards occur in the combinational circuit where they may cause a temporary false output we use the term unwanted switching transient means temporary false output value when such combinational circuits are used in asynchronous sequential circuits they may result in a transition to a wrong stable state let us say if the sequential circuit a synchronous sequential circuit is designed to give a stable state of 1 but due to hazards in the combinational circuit it is showing the stable state um, the state as 0 the stable state designed is 1 but it is showing the state 0 then what happens it is the circuit is not giving the appropriate result it results in the malfunctioning of the circuit so hazards are not desirable the hazards are occurring due to different propagation delays at different paths so let us uh, understand hazard in a com- hazards in a combinational circuit here this in this combinational circuit we have taken three inputs x1 x2 x3 gate 1 gate 2 and gate 3 and output y so here it is explained the input x1 is all the time low zero now this second input x2 is one initially and after some time it becomes zero zero means actual low the third input is x3 x3 is active low it means it is all the time zero so these are the three inputs x1 x2 x3 so what happened how the problem hazard has occurred in this circuit so when we are giving these three inputs x1 x2 x3 the output of the circuit is looking like it is having some small transient uh, switching transient here unwanted switching transient this is known as hazard so let us understand now at this this yellow line is drawn na see here the input is here for x1 0 this is 1 this is 0 so here x1 is 0 x2 is 1 so it is 1 means it will go to 0 so both are zero zero the output is to be zero so the output of the first gate output of gate 1 is low output of gate 1 x2 is high at this point so 1 is coming here and 0 is coming from x3 so 0 0 1 the output will be high so output of gate 2 is shown as high here so this is continuing output of gate 1 is low output of gate 2 is high what happened this not gate is having a small propagation delay due to this 
what happened now when the output when the input x2 is changing from 1 to 0 when it is changing from 1 to 0 what should be the output of gate 1 x2 now became 0 x2 is 0 means here it is coming 1 0 1 0 1 means it, the output should be 1 so when it has changed at this point the output of gate is showing high at what time after certain time so it became 1 at this time so there is a small propagation delay here due to this inverter or not gate okay now let us see the output of gate 2 x2 is how much now here x2 is from 1 to 0 means output is 0 uh, output not its input x2 is 0 0 is coming 0 0 so both are 0 0 so what should be the output of this one output of gate 2 it was initially 1 now it has to go 0 so it has happened due to the propagation delay of this gate also it is showing the output became 0 not here but after certain time ok so the output of gate 1 is having a propagation which is this transition has to occur at this point but it is uh, taking place at this point likewise the output of gate 2 the transition that is from 1 to 0 must occur at this point but is showing the transition at this point there is a propagation delay so this much of amount is delayed so what happens now at this point output of gate 1 is 0 here how much it is 1 to 0 means 0 so both are 0 0 gate 1 output is 0 gate 2 output is 0 so what will be the output of gate 3 both are 0 0 so the output has to go 0 so it, there is a decrease here now output of gate 1 has increased from 0 to 1 so it is 1 it is 0 so what happens now it goes to 1 so what happens this type of switching transient occurs in the circuit output so this is known as static one hazard so why it is occurring in the output of gate 1 is having delay due to what propagation delay of the inverter plus or gate 1 and the delay in the output of gate 2 is due to the propagation delay of gate 2 only so the propagation delay of inverter and gate 1 is resulting to this waveform and the output of gate 2 is having a propagation delay due to gate 2 and these two are acting as input to this and accordingly there is a delay in the output also which is known as hazard so what is hazard it is occurring due to the propagation delay the there is no instantaneous change it the output of gate 1 would have changed here but it is showing the change after certain time likewise output of gate 2 would have shown the transition at this blue dotted but it is showing the transition at this point so due to these two, de two delays the output is occurring like this so it is uh, not the correct output so it is uh, showing malfunctioning of the circuit ok so hazard is unwanted switching tra transients and it results to malfunction of the circuit and it is occurring due to the propagation delays which is written here assume that initially x1 and x3 are 0 and x2 is 1 this causes output of gate 1 to be 0 that of gate 2 be 1 and the output of circuit is 0 now consider change in x2 from 1 to 0 the output of gate 1 changes to 1 and that of gate 2 changes to 0 leaving the output at 1 however 
the output momentarily goes to 0 if the propagation delay through the inverter is taken into consideration. So, which has been put in words about these waveforms. So, initially x 1 and x 3 are taken as 0 and x 2 is 1 initially and then decreasing and this propagation delay in output of gate 1 is shown here and the output of gate 2 is shown here. Okay, so, in this way you can explain the combinational circuit with hazards. Now, let us quickly design, uh, define static 1 hazard. In a combinational circuit, if the output goes momentarily 0 when it should remain a 1, the hazard is known as a static 1 hazard. Second static 0 hazard, if the output goes momentarily 1 when it should remain a 0 the hazard is known as static 0 hazard. Okay, so, the static 1, static 0 as well as the dynamic hazard is also there which we will be seeing in the next video. So, in this class I have explained about hazards. Hazards are unwanted switching transients that appear at the output of a circuit occurring due to propagation delays at different paths resulting in the circuit to malfunction. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.